Git stands as the most powerful version control system globally, yet its default commands can be tedious and time-consuming. Today we'll explore Lazy Git, an exceptional command line tool designed for managing workflows. As the name implies, this tool caters to developers seeking efficiency much like myself. It boasts a straightforward shortcut for every Git workflow. For instance, rather than typing git pull to fetch the latest changes from the remote, a simple press of the letter P suffices. Similarly, instead of the verbose git push origin master, a quick press of capital P gets the job done. I utilize AstroVim as my code editor, equipped with LazyGit as a convenient plugin. Going forward, we'll integrate LazyGit into our workflow within AstroVim. Let's dive right in. I've already initialized a Git repository on my local machine. To begin, let's add a JavaScript file to this repository named app.js. We'll craft a simple function and include some logging statements. Subsequently, our aim is to push this file to the remote repository. Additionally, let's incorporate one more modification. We currently have an existing readme file. We intend to append a repository description to facilitate a more informative diff when we navigate LazyGit. Opening LazyGit, we'll acquaint ourselves with essential sections. Following that, we'll explore how to commit, push, and pull changes. LazyGit consists of a total of five sections, each accessible by typing a corresponding number from 1 to 5. Let's start by exploring the status section, triggered by typing 1. However, this section isn't particularly useful, so let's move on. Next, we can access the Files section by pressing 2 on the keyboard, revealing both staged and non-staged files within our repository. No need to execute the git status command, the status is readily available. When we navigate to a specific file, we instantly see the diff for that file. Once again, we save ourselves from entering an additional git diff command. Isn't that awesome? This same efficiency holds true for VS Code as well, and it's worth noting that I haven't touched my mouse thus far. Moving on to the third section, we can access the branches section by pressing number three on the keyboard. This section provides an overview of both local and remote branches within our repository. Upon hitting Enter on a selected branch, we can view the comments on that branch within the same section. Furthermore, pressing Enter again on a selected comment allows us to see the number of files changed in that specific comment, with a detailed diff for each file displayed on the right panel. For the fourth section, we can trigger the Commit section by pressing number 4 on the keyboard. These commits correspond to the commits of the currently selected branch in the Branches section. Within the Commits section, we can perform various operations on the comments, such as Squash and Revert. Finally, the fifth section is the Stash section, accessible by typing number 5. Here, we can view all stashed changes and perform operations like Apply and Pop. Recalling that we have one new and one modified file in our repository, and our goal is to commit and push those files. Before proceeding, let's navigate to the Branches section and create a new feature branch by pressing the N key on the keyboard. Assign a name to this branch, and now we are on the same branch. Moving to the Files section, press the A key on the keyboard to stage all the changes. To commit these changes, press C on the keyboard, add a commit message, and hitting Enter will create the commit, ready for pushing. Pressing capital P pushes this commit to the remote repository. Remarkably, without touching the mouse, the entire process of pushing files is completed instantly. Now, let's create a pull request for the main branch by pressing O on the keyboard. This action opens the browser with selected branches, allowing us to create and merge the pull request. With the commit now on the main branch, but on the remote repository, we aim to pull that commit to our local main branch. To achieve this, go to the Branches section, select the main branch by pressing Space and pressing P. Pulls down the latest changes to the local branch, switching to the Feature branch, navigating to the main branch, and pressing capital M merges the main branch with the Feature branch. Let's switch back to AstroVim and introduce an additional function to our app.js file. 
However, suddenly realizing that this change is unnecessary for the present moment but might be useful in the future, we can stash it by pressing the S key on the keyboard, effectively stashing the changes. Regarding the previous commit we pushed, it appears to have a bug that we'd like to revert. Heading to the commit section, we can press the R key on the keyboard and a revert commit will be generated, effectively rolling back the changes. Now, considering the stashed changes we saved earlier, we can navigate to the stash section, select the stash and press the spacebar. This action applies the selected stash to the working directory. If you found this tool helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Thank you.